Is there a single version where Jesus says, I'm God? Is there a single verse in any Bible where he says, worship me? Is there? So he's asking me, you mean to say it's not there? I said, this is your book. You show me. Jesus says, I'm God. I'm prepared to accept him. If he says he's God, I accept him because I know he'll never lie. If he says, worship me, I'm prepared to worship him. Because I don't speak for these people. You, my children, I don't speak for you. I speak for myself. If Jesus says he's God, then he's God. If he says, worship me, I'm prepared to worship him. There isn't, because the Quran tells you there's no such thing. And you verify there's no such thing. So to ask him, where does he say I'm God? Where does he say worship me? Show me. And you see what happens. He's helpless. Show me in your book, your Jehovah's Witness version, your Roman Catholic version, your any version on earth, man. Show me where Jesus says I'm God or where he says worship me. There is it. That's the way to talk. But you are not prepared to do homework. People are not prepared to do homework. You're not prepared to do some exercise. Do some exercise. And you watch, man. These people are, will fall like nine pins before you. They haven't got a leg to stand upon. With this book, the guy's getting customers. With this incest, sex, pornography of the highest order, most shameful deeds, and he's getting customers. And you and I, we are not getting past customers with the Quran. With the Quran. You and I, you are not getting converts with the Quran. As a whole. Compared to the Christian. Am I right? You give me an answer. Why? I give you this book. Anybody tell me. How is it that the Christian with all this, what we're dealing with just now, with that kind of stuff, he's catching fish. He's getting converts. And you and I, we can't get converts with the Quran. You give me the answer. This book is yours. Yes. Yes, my son. Ignorance. Mm. No. Because the product, you know, the marketing strategy. Mm. Mm. Simple. The answer is very simple. Why is it that you and I can't get converts with the Quran and the Christian is getting converts with this? Why? Do you get this book? Come, come. The Christians make it very alluring. Don't rock the people. But uh, when, when somebody reads Quran, he says, oh, it's all bindings. We are afraid to present the Quran to them on the notion that the non Muslim can't touch it. And we're not reading it. So no, the answer is yes. Why the Muslim is not getting converts? Actually, we are reading this paper, uh, the holy paper, uh, here in, here, uh, it's about uh, set up for Africa as a whole. Because uh, those are the people, people who came first to produce uh, this paper to us. So we don't know nothing about the uh, about Israel's uh, Bible or whatever it is. So I wonder why is the Muslim not getting converts? Well, probably we're not yeah. working yeah. with Muslim the missionary team. Huh? They're not conversing. You're not talking. You're not talking, man! You're not talking. You've got to say, you've got to talk. The Christian is talking, you're not talking. Open your mouth, man, talk. Talk, man, talk. You're not talking. You're not conversing. Say, it's in his words, he says, he's not talking. You're not talking. That's yours. Now, you all are entitled to a Quran each. You all are, in, are entitled to those Bibles, the choice each. Anytime you have time during the week, you pop into my office, say, Sir, what I'm in Zion, good morning. Or, he said, look, that Quran I want, free, I'll give it to you. Everybody is entitled to. You come along, I'll explain to you how it works, and I'll present it to you. That book, the choice, also everybody is entitled to a book, free of charge. And any further questions you have, any criticism, you please come and say, Uncle, but you see, you said this, that, that, but you're very unfair, you're very unjust. You know, look, the position is like this. Come and talk to me, and you'll find me, and you know, I speak loud. You know, it's, it seems to terrify people that I'm shouting, I'm scolding. I'm not scolding, that's my voice. It carries like that. But now, you'll find me very, very cooperative, and you'll find me very humble, too. So. You are all entitled to a Quran each, and you are all entitled to the book, the choice, free of charge. But you have to come and see me. Yes, my child. Yes, you mentioned uh, the religion of our ancestors. I'd like to know whether our, we you know the name of our religion. Uh, I would like to know whether it's, a, it's got a special name or it's also Now, I do not know the exact name. 
And uh, I think you see, the African people, they have a certain disadvantage. Their language was not written. Yours is not a written language. You know, before the white man came to teach you A, B, C, D, you didn't know how to read or write. The Zulus, Batulus, Basulus, Khazas, Chanas, everybody. You know, they didn't know how to read or write. So they're talking about God. They call him Umvelinkari. Beautiful word. Umvelinkari. I says, now I'm asking him, what is this Umvelinkari? He explains to me. Beautiful explanation. And all these things he knew that adultery was bad, stealing was bad, lying was bad. Serious. Murder was bad. Serious. Where did you get it? So the Zulu tells me, and the Khazars will tell me, say, Mabam Kulu Washabo. You know, our grandfather said that. And our grandfather said that. Who was this grandfather of yours? Maybe that grandfather of yours was a prophet. But because you didn't have a written language, he said, Babam Kulu, Babam Kulu, Babam Kulu. Everybody says, Babam Kulu, you know, our great grandfathers, our great grandfathers. Yeah. I says, now, you did, we're not able to preserve. But religion is there, and your concept is there that you worship God Almighty as a spiritual being. Umoya or Imwal is a pure and holy spirit. That's your concept. That is the true concept of God. The Jews, after hundreds of prophets coming to them, prophets after prophets, they still worship the golden calf. Your fathers, they didn't have a written book. You haven't got a prophet to your name. But you didn't worship idols. Not a single African tribe south of the Zambezi ever made images of their God. Ever. Never. Not one. I don't know why. Couldn't you carve out the art of wood, the shape of a man or a monkey? The Zulu says yes. Taza says yes. The Basu, everybody says yes, they could. Out of clay, couldn't you make a shape of a man or a woman or a lion or a tiger? I said yes. Then why didn't you make this of your own willing? So he tells how means that. How can you make an image of Umoya Umoya? He is a pure and holy spirit. I said, that's a right concept of God. Without a written book, without a prophet that you can name, you are the people of God. You are the sons of God. Not the Jews, they were chosen. But they again and again, they fell into idol worship. Again and again. The Bible says, as the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Israel, as the number of cities you got, so many gods you got. You people. He said, Tiko, Mudimo, give him a word. What is your concept? He's not like a man, he's not like a monkey, he's not like an elephant, he's not like a snake. He said, that is God. That is what I want to tell you. That's nothing new, nothing new. In Islam, we're not telling you anything new that you don't know. He said, let's go back to worship that God, the Father in heaven. He is the real God. Not Jewish Jesus, not Moses, not Muhammad, not Rama, not Krishna, not Buddha. The unseen God of the universe. As I worship him. Your fathers worshipped him, so let's go back to him. Worship the Father in heaven. Right, we will go to the mosque now and we will witness the Muslim prayer. And at, we'll hear the call to prayer. After that, those who want to join us in prayer, they may. Let us can sit down and watch. And immediately after that, just behind that place, there is a hotel there. We'll go and have our lunch together. OK, the children. We'll go to the mosque now. We'll take off our shoes and just can I explain to you what goes on and how the Muslims pray. By the time you get a call, and we have to tell you what the call is. And then you watch the Muslim at prayer, and we have our lunch. And you, all, you can also come. And then the for me also for making salah. Inshallah, we'll be open. I'll see if that is open. Yeah. And anybody wants this book, uh, what the Bible says about Muhammad? Okay. Is the Bible about Muhammad? Okay. Yeah, the pens, pens. The Bibles are yours, but the pens are mine. La.